Hi, my name is Danny Asensio. I'm a trainer at the Gold's Gym in Bothell, and we're going to be bringing you another trainer tip video. All right, guys. As you step up to the heavy bag, before you begin throwing punches, a few considerations for your safety. Make sure that you are keeping your wrist straight and in alignment with your elbow, especially upon impact when you hit the bag. Also upon impact, make sure that you have your fist nice and tight in order to keep your wrist safe. Also, when the bag starts swinging because you are striking at it, try not to hit the bag straight on as it is swinging towards you because that is approximately 80 pounds of weight coming towards your wrist as you throw the punch. So try to use your footwork to step around and work different angles as you go through. Speaking of footwork, make sure that you're taking fairly small steps. A few times in the video you'll see, sometimes I take a little bit bigger steps than I should, but overall when you're boxing, small movements are usually best. Small corrections are usually best. In addition, make sure you're trying to keep an even stance throughout, that you have good balance, that you're not too far forward or leaning too far back as you're throwing the punches. And don't square up to the bag where both your hips are facing directly to the bag there. You wanna be a little bit of a side stance and at an angle to the bag at all times. The workout that we're doing here is meant to be three five minute rounds with one minute of rest in between each round. This is a workout that's gonna to be tough and it's going to challenge you. Your first round, you are only going to throw your jab. Just working the jab, singles, singles, some doubles. You'll see also sometimes I'll go to the body, sometimes I'll go to the head, and just mixing up the jab, making sure that you keep your non-jabbing hand tight to your face and you're working on your defense as well. The second round, will be your jab cross. So you'll be throwing a nice, tight, quick jab and then going into the cross, making sure that you are pivoting off that back foot and getting your shoulder into the punch. Your third round, you'll be throwing only hooks. And for this, you wanna make sure that you are really pivoting off of your hips and getting your feet and hips into the motion. Power comes from the hips, particularly when you're throwing hooks. And so you'll see that I get a very sharp twist in my foot as I turn that hip over on each hook. Also try to make sure that you're getting your elbow up and in alignment. You will see there were a few hooks on mine that the elbow dropped just a little bit and those are less effective. Next combo is a jab followed by a cross and a hook. So working on all the different cues and different technique points that you've been working up to now and combining them together into one smooth combo. Your final combination is a jab, cross, hook, and then a cross. So you're throwing four punches there. And try to throw the punches fluidly. Speed matters, but you wanna make sure that you're throwing everything in such a way that your shoulders are fairly relaxed, you're not tensing up too much, or this round will really tire you out. So guys, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.